Maybe you can take us through what happened since we are disconnected. Uh, well, basically, TCM lost another round, and then uh, now they're saving again, so it's just sneak around. Shoxy's picked up a gun, but they're, they're two on four, so not looking great for TCM. I mean, they picked CT, so you would have thought that they would be much nice. There we go, Savras actually getting one kill. Really nice. Two on three now, but brought them. Here we go. So there we go, sorry about that disconnect guys, obviously a uh, really unfortunate internet uh, cut out for no real reason, I don't understand why, but there we go, should be uh, should be back up and running again, disrupts are now hiding here, it's going to take down shots, so they win that one on two situation, it's going to bring it to two and four, and bringing us on to the seventh round, and faculty looking pretty good here on the terrace side. Yeah, I mean, it's like, it's like we were saying, we were really surprised when TCM broke out the that they were going to be on CT, but now they finally got this setup, which I've been waiting for the whole game. It's the double-up setup. Shoxi and Guardian, they're two new players. Both incredibly strong at the orb. We'll see how it goes. Absolutely, all disruptors so quick into this B-bomb site, but you're alright. Shoxi's waiting up here. If he can get that shot off with the orb, it's going to matter a lot. He misses it. Guardian, though, doesn't miss. Taking down Taps and TLR, taking down the Jaya. CC, and they desperately want this round. Definitely don't want to give it up. Guardian gonna take down Disruptor here, Disruptor does get a kill in, and SM and then Kirby coming in strong, so now Kirby's all alone, he's trying to put down this bomb, which he actually can do, they're pretty far away, nah. can Kirby do this one on two, smoking out, he knows that, oh, does he know that oh. there's someone behind there, Kirby getting oh one my God. kill, but he's gonna go Nearly. down. Wow, oh, so they, no. they lose at least one, not they save one on clue, but losing four people, that was a really unfortunate round for TCM, and tell you what I think is bizarre, they're running double AWP, right? Normally when you run double AWP, for example, when NIP run double AWP, they have Forest and Freiburg, Forest has an AWP, Freiburg has an M4 in the B-bomb site, and for Flower, the other AWP is A, but TCM, they send both Guardian and Shoxi to the middle, presumably to try and make uh, the, the AWP through the middle battle a 2 on one but obviously there's no AWP on in faculty anyway. Yeah. And that meant that nobody was covering B, so <laughs> and faculty got into the B-bomb site. I mean, they still lost the round, so and TCM, I guess you can say their strategy worked, but extremely yeah. painful round. Definitely was. Star Wars going to take down SMN here, but he's taking some damage too, and he's down in the pit now, which is not actually that easy to get out of. He's got Seal here. Oh my, they can't go. Oh, I thought they were both going to go in the pit. That would have been awful. Seal Y taking down Tabson, though. Really well played. Guardian taking some grenade damage, but this is still a great situation for TCM. They are 4 on 3, and Kirby is on 2 HP, so they should be able to win this round. What is uh, in faculty going to do, though? They're going to put uh, Lejaya and Disruptor up uh, up on Catwalk, maybe? Now they're actually just going to try and gun it out here in the middle, which can be really dangerous. But uh, I'm sure Guardian is going to be... No, Guardian's actually fallen all the way back. Is anyone covering short at all? No, it's just Star Wars all the way back in the site. So if they could get him down, maybe they can retake the site. Oh, great shot from the Jai to take him down. Now it's all on Guardian. He's hiding here only along. He's going to get that shot. Guardian doesn't miss much. Completely blinded though, taking more AK damage. But <laughs> look at the health. 2 and 17 in a 2 on 3 situation. Gonna put down the bomb. And he will do it. Guardian will headshot this rough to do through the crate of all things. And CLI with a jumping uh, shot from that uh, from that M4. Yeah, I mean, around home. CLY or Clue, he's uh, he's actually at the top of the score with 11 kills, only three deaths. It's actually an incredibly great um, statistic and three assists as well. So he's the one defending the A bomb site, locking that out. And to be honest, I think every single round and faculty have won. Three of them have been at B and only one's been at A, so he's actually been absolutely pivotal. Yeah. And it's a pistol round, or an eco round here for Infaculty. They do take one kill with a deal. Disruptor getting one on Star Wars, but Shirakshi's here, and he's gonna pick uh, up those remaining kills. So they lose two people in, a, in an anti or in an eco round. Not too bad, I guess, for uh, for Infaculty to get those two kills in, but would have been nice if they could have got more, obviously. They kind of do need it. It is 5 on 4, and they're on the terrorist side, so sort of map balance wise we'd be expecting in faculty to take the majority of the rounds here. I would say nine or ten rounds would be really good for in faculty. And that's not what they're looking at at the moment. Now let's see. What are they gonna do? They're gonna come out on uh, two people on A long, three people on catwalk. Let's see if Star Wars can defend this bomb site. Probably seal wise gonna get a kill on Kirby and Star Wars Gets one kill, but Tapson's gonna take him down. Guardian with the orb, taking down one, but he's solo right now. The Jaya 
one grenade or actually just one AK shot's gonna take down Guardian. He's turning around. Can he get down Choxius here? But he's so low right now. He needs Disruptor to come and help him. And Disruptor's gonna get oh. that kill one on one if Disruptor but looks not, the right no way, way, but he's not. No. Oh Whew. man. And uh, TCM, they're coming and close every single round they win. They're losing people. Yeah. It's not, especially when you want to be running double AWP, as they've shown, it's not the situation you want. You need to be winning rounds where you're losing two players at the absolute most. Not having to win one on one. Definitely really close between these two teams, but it, it it can be the difference definitely between winning and losing. Just uh, getting those one on one situations in the bag. And now we're in the 11th round here. And it's going to be more pistol action for in faculty. They really cannot afford to buy anything. See if they can get some kills in the middle. Shoxy up on the catwalk, going to take down Tapson, and now Struxy tired of raiding. Just going to go for it. Yeah, they're starting to get some momentum, TCM. So only losing one player to that eco run from in faculty, not bad. Nope, not bad at all. And uh, now there are actually a three whole rounds up from TCM. This is looking like it could be it could be a really awkward situation for in faculty unless they can somehow reassert themselves in this matchup. And uh, that's not easy to do right now. Oh what a great shot from Taps and taking down Guardian. This is what they need to do though to bring it back. A question that we really neither asked or answered, but um, the answer came in from Taps and then anyway. Taking down Guardian early on is going to make a massive difference for Infaculty's uh, options in this uh, in the remaining of this round. Shox is waiting down here. He's going to get smoked a little bit, but actually not too much. He can still see just fine what's happening. There are three people, actually four people in the middle here. Tabson going to take down one, but Shox is there. He's going to go down. Shox is going to go down, and Tabson now with a triple kill, a quad kill in fact. Oh my god, if you could take down Shox, it would surely be amazing. And Shox is down here waiting. I want Tabson to just drop down like a superhero and take him out right now. But it's going to be Nijaya to do it. He was even really close to doing that. Well played, Tabson. Getting a quad kill just like that. Now it's 7 to find. We're in the 13th round here. And then Faculty actually struggling a little bit here on the terrorist side. Tapson going to be the one to open it up over here on A-Long. He's actually running in with his back turn. Really ballsy play. He's going to go down right then. And Lejai is going to take down Lejai. Oh, sorry. Uh, it's going to go down to Guardian as well. So it's a 5 on 3 very early on. SMN trying to do some damage here, but it might not be enough. Where's Guardian at? Surely he will be... Oh, he's actually run all the way over there. That's incredible. Struxy now. Gonna kick one kill down and that's it. That was actually sorry, that was Star Wars with the double kill right then and Shoxy coming in for some action too, so it's eight on five now. And Guardian yeah. moving around so much on this map, he was all the way over in A long and then I mean ten seconds later he was all the way over at B in the window. So really a lot of movement coming out from the from the AWP player here. And is that a pause coming in? Yes. Oh man. For for just a brief second I thought it was my connection again. Oh, I can imagine that would have been how it Yeah, so scared. And now we're in the 14th round. And in faculty, they, they actually desperately need these remaining rounds if they want to look really good. Over here, Shoxy going to be waiting for them. A grenade coming in. Not doing too much damage. Pretty nice smoke or flash coming out from a Shoxy. Guardian going to get one kill. Shoxy now just uh, rolling around the corner, holding down mouse one. And look at Star Wars in the middle. He's pushed up all the way here. And Seal Y is going to come in too. Shocks you with a kill. Seal Y going to go down, but Kirby will get taken out anyway. It's a really, really aggressive push from TCM. They they rotate so quickly. And I love what Star Wars does. Obviously, he was over here waiting for them when uh, when he heard the news of what was going on at B. He just rotated all the way in here, and uh, and he was ready for them. And they tried to get back out again. And uh, great play from him. Now let's see, Struxy's in the middle, is he gonna find anyone down there? That's the question, there are actually three people here with not that much to go for. Struxy taking down one and two, great play, and who's up there waiting for him? It's gonna be Kirby to go down, so Struxy just getting a triple kill in a round that uh, in faculty would have liked to won, but would have been really difficult for them. SMN gonna take down Stroxy. Stroxy missing a shot, but he's gonna get SMN anyway. Can see if he can do even more. Yes, he will. And then throwing away those rifles. So that's it. 10 to 5 is the official score for the first half. And I'm just quickly gonna get something to drink, guys.
So um, here we go. The match resuming TCM Gaming up against N Faculty in the Star Series SLTV qualifiers here on NIPTV. So we had a bit of a technical problem earlier on, but we fixed it now and people are sort of reconnecting. I appreciate that a lot. That you want to stay tuned with us and this upcoming pistol round going to be completely critical for N Faculty. Oh, look, Jaya taking down Guardian. He was jumping through the middle. What a beautiful shot. It's going to be a great start for in faculty. But where's the push coming in? They've actually got a lot of people here, but Jaya is the one who will be spotting them, or at least, at least maybe hearing them in the middle. They're making a lot of noise, so he knows exactly what's going on here. Can he get the kill, though? Does not want to throw away his life right now. Oh, he's going to peek too much. Seal Y is going to take him down, jump up. And is he going to get the kill on Kirby? Yes, he will. Tapson coming in with a really strong kill, but he's going to go down almost certainly. He's down to 6 HP and trying to reload that pistol. It's a two on three situation. Can, in fact, you bring it back? They really desperately need to. Star Wars taking a lot of damage. Disruptor is going to bring him down. They have two grenades. A flash each, and they have kits, so they can do this in faculty. Two on two yeah, situation. They just need that's a That's definitely a really nice smoke, but no one's paying attention to them. No. Struxy is going to come in with a great kill here, and he's surely going to keep on going. Yes, he will. Triple kill from Struxy that round, and uh, that's going to be in faculty losing that early round. I know the scoreboard up top is kind of messed up, but um, it is actually TCM who took that pistol round. Jaya taking some damage in the middle here, just pistols obviously for in faculty, they lost that pistol round and here we go. The murder commences and actually that round was uh, was really really uh, quick and obviously yes, uh, Flawless. Yeah, flawless round. Uh, so, 12 rounds for TCM now, the scoreboard obviously forgot the score and hasn't changed the team name. But that's 12-5, right? Yeah. Yeah, so TCM, they're looking very much like they are going to take this game comfortably. They absolutely uh, are doing exceptionally well right now. Oh, Good big grenade. Coming in. Two of them, in fact. And uh, I'm going to watch the Jaya with this deal. I want him to get a shot off here. Come on. Is he going to fall back? Maybe getting hunted down there. All around him right now. He misses the first shot. Can he get the next one? Deagle action, please. No, but Kirby will get a kill. And he's now one on four. Everyone's kind of weak. Oh, Shoxy. Jumping up and down with a burst fire. Yeah. Absolutely, uh, absolutely great uh, early start here for TCM Gaming. As you said, now they are 13 to 5, just three rounds away from winning a really good victory, and they're on the terrorist side as well. This is uh, statistically the side you're supposed to be winning more on, on Dust 2, so TCM with, uh, with a lot of wind in their sails right now. Now let's see, this is the fourth round of the second half, so at least in faculty they can buy something now. They've got the Jaya with the sword, but we're in the B bomb site. Disruptor's hiding down here on A long, and SMN is also in B. Taps and taking some damage, because actually nobody is covering up close on the, on the catwalk. This is, uh, well, an interesting strategy, at least for, uh, for in faculty. They have no one covering this whole area, which means... If Star Wars is going to get a kill here, maybe he's kind of peeking up. If he can get a kill on tabs in here, it would mean a lot. Oh, but he's taking a lot of damage instead. I'm really good. But in faculty, could quickly lose this bomb site if they're not careful. Such a patient play coming out from TCM. They know exactly where Tamsin is, and they're all on this catwalk right now. Struxy's gonna look down the middle, but here the push is gonna come in. Can they get it? Oh, what a shot! Kirby gonna retaliate onto him, taking down Star Wars, but it is a one for one trade here, and they have the bomb site almost certainly secured. It's so difficult. Actually, Kirby's gonna go down to see why he was shooting while he was blind as well, but man, down here's Disrupt. Are oh, you making a lot of noise? He's falling back, and someone is right around the corner. And does he realize it? That's the question. Strux is hiding for him. Guardian coming out here, taking down the Jaya. And CLY, see so if he can find anyone here. He will take down SMN and that Shoxy. Actually, Shoxy hiding down there will take down Disruptor. So, just a quick point to bring up here while we're waiting for it. Um, 
not not covering up here on the, on the close position on the catwalk or the A short uh, position here is going to be a problem because if you're covering way back here from from the A site, what happens is when you get if you get killed uh, all the way from over here if you get headshot or something really unfortunate like that, then the people who are down here on A long they can't get back up. They're going to get flashed and smoked out and all that stuff. Or oh, great kills, eco round from faculty taking a double kill early on. And can they keep going? Seal Y is going to bring it back in their favor. Or oh, on Seal Y. Oh, wow. oh my god. I just had a four kill. kill. I surely he'll kill that man as well. He must do it. The crowd demands it. Is it going to be a good No. No. SMN ruining that. Still. Yeah. One on it's two. It's been a great eco run for, for and faculty. Yeah, absolutely beautiful eco round for them, but um, Seal White kind of overshadowing that, oh, and Guardian jumping on over, flashy play coming out. Let's look at the scoreboard, obviously re it's reset a little bit, because I guess we had a re uh, a restart at some point. Seal White though, 9 and 2, looking so strong, Struxy with 6 and 1, and then Shoxy with 5 and 1, and uh, I don't know, Kirby and Tapson kind of on top, but it's not really a lot, 4 kills and 2, need more than that. Guardian shooting SMN right through the door. Cheeky play that Jai actually trying to challenge Guardian, so really brave on him. Disrupts trying to see Sealer Ice Rex behind that uh, behind that container. I see SMN here. Gonna get down Struxy. Very really important covering that B bomb site. Guardian is looking for anyone who might try and peek out, but currently no one will. Shoxy, oh, and actually a friendly grenade. Seal Y gonna take down one Shoxy with a double kill. So it's now 4 on 2, this is really unfortunate. Kirby trying to gun it out here. Tapson with a double kill and a triple kill. Nice. Well played, now it's all on Shoxy. Absolutely beautiful. If nothing else, this game has brought us a lot of really credible rounds where just a single, a single performance has been the main difference. Alright, it was the same on the, on the first map as well. Yeah, it was. So many triple kills and quad kills in this game. But not an ace. No aces yet, seems like it's been on the verge all the time. Shoxy gonna flash on out and come through the smoke. He's gonna take down Kirby and Tapson will get the quad kill in the end. I was really, really, really thinking Shoxy maybe could have been fast enough to do yeah. that. But they did do smartly kind of stick stick together and make sure that they don't get caught out one by one. So here we go, one to five. And uh, the scoreboard's still a little bit messed up. It is actually in faculty with one round TCM game with five. And they did secure themselves 10 in the first half two. So they're at 15 rounds. One more and they would have taken a victory here. And in faculty, really far behind. I really can't believe how well Clue's been playing in this game. He, he must have had well over 25 kills by now. Yeah. It's definitely been the rock on which TCM's gameplay has been built. Although he does go down. Yeah, really great kill here from Tapson, who's kind of the man stepping it up for in faculty at the moment. Now the question is if if they can bring it all the way home here. It's four against five with just a minute left on the clock now as TCM Gaming try and see if they can make an opening into either side, but it's actually going to be a B push. They're, they're over here with the bomb waiting, you see three people coming in, they're going to take down SMN who actually peeked up too soon behind that crate. Disrupts are now going to walk out, see if he can get a kill, but he won't, Star Wars is going to take him down. And the Jai is coming from behind here, but this is a bad situation for in faculty. They are four against three, the bomb is planted in the B bomb site, and they need to try and retake it. Yeah, this is their the life on the line here. Two on two. They've got one kit. Oh. Strux, you're gonna take down one. Tabson, can you do it? You've been playing so well so far. Oh. GG. That's it. It's gonna be in total 6 to 16 is the score now. TCM Gaming, they win the second map. They won the first one too. So, uh, in conclusion, they win the best of three.